Hi everyone, I'm Lizzie Liao, currently a research fellow from National University of Singapore. I'm happy to share our work on multi-domain Dallas Day Tracking here. The Dallas Day Tracking task maintains a representation of the state of the dialog. For example, in the bus schedule information system, the dialog state might indicate the user's desired bus routine, origin, and destination. Starting from spoken dialogue systems, the dialogue state tracking task in early days is difficult, mainly because automatic speech recognition and the spoken language understanding errors are common. Therefore, it tends to work on single domain setting with small fixed ontology. Later, with great advancements in automatic speech recognition and the availability of textual purposes, many dialogue state tracking algorithms have been proposed on single domain textual inputs. However, the methods developed for single domain are hard to scale to multi-domain setting. The tracking problem becomes more complicated when multiple domains got involved. It requires Dallas state tracking models to be more accurate in finding evidence for slot value prediction and more robust in handling the correlation among various slots. Generally speaking, recent multi-domain dialogue state tracking methods try to address dialogue modeling in two different schemes, the dialogue history scheme and the turn-by-turn -turn scheme. In the dialogue history scheme, taking the whole or window-sized dialogue history as input, it predicts slot value without explicitly discriminating over terms of utterances. While in turn-by-turn -turn scheme, relying on the dialogue state generated from the previous turn and the most recent turn utterances, it learns to regenerate new state for partially uh, new state or partially update the previous state. Under these two schemes, the methods developed either rely on a predefined ontology to do classification, or depend on open vocabulary setting to generate or extract span from the inputs. However, in spite of different prediction mechanisms such as ontology-based or open vocabulary-based, both schemes are suboptimal. The formal dialogue history scheme usually treats the whole dialogue history as a long sequence indiscriminately, while the conversation is naturally turn by turn progressively to reach an information alignment between user and the agent. While the later turn by turn scheme appears to work well, however, in this scheme, the error appeared in previous turn state will accumulate and largely affect later turns prediction accuracy. So what was missing? Let's look at an example dialogue here. The user first say, I'm looking for a moderate price British restaurant in south of the town. Then the system replies, sorry, I cannot find it any place, blah, blah. Would you like to try another area? The user then say, that's fine. How about in middle of the town? And then the system recommends a restaurant serves British food. Then the user say, that sounds fine. Can you book it, please, and give me the reference number? Then the system asks about the day and time and how many people. The user reply with the correct value. And then the system book this place for the user and ask for anything else I can help you with. Then the user say, I'm also looking for some entertainment in the same area as the restaurant. So we see there are, the domain actually changes during the process of the dialogue. And also the user requirements change a bit. So based on the statistics from the data, the conversation topic often jumps from one domain to another, the percentage we show here. And also the user requirement also shifts sometimes. So we see Doing dialogue state tracking, actually we need more accurate evidence finding. Because we see the domain changes, requirements also change. And the human rarely recall all the previous utterances 
but only selectively review the domain slot related terms. Another important finding is that there are nuanced phenomena in natural conversations such as co-reference and value sharing. For example, when we generate the value for attraction area, we actually do not need to look over the whole history, but only rely on selective and co-referred results. Like finding this term and the area refers to the restaurant area. So we actually need to make use of those important findings. In the dataset, we observe that around 9.4% of the time, a slot shares value with another slot. We also show some quick statistics from the data. For example, the hotel book day share value 122 times with the train day, while the train day share value 100 63 times with the hotel book day. Another important phenomenon is that for taxi destination and taxi departure, we always see it shares value with the hotel name, attraction name, or restaurant name. So those evidence should be leveraged to help Dallas Day Tracking. Based on such observation, we propose to design a model to recursively infer the results for Dallas Day Tracking and the multiple domain setting. Our method simulates such process by selectively reviewing the dialogue history. An illustration of how our method works is as follows. So suppose the agent needs to generate a dialogue state with the current history. Given the slot query, it first looks at the most recent term which is the turn six. It is not related to attraction area, so it will further looking back at turn five. This turn is related, and then it further refers to another slot restaurant area. So the query becomes restaurant area and the query further to get the final result. Generally speaking, the whole process is described in such an algorithm. We have three main components, finding turns, get co-reference, and finally generate the value. Basically, given any slot S, our state tracker will first test whether it matches with the most recent utterance for evidence finding. If not, our tracker will reversely review former turns. This process will be kept executing until the tracker detects value sharing or has obtained enough evidences or have backtracked to the beginning of dialogue. If our tracker finds a confident turn, it will first find the slots that might share value with it and recursively find the value for each shared slot based on the subset of dialogue history before this turn. It then generates the final value for the slot S based on the turn utterances found and the values of shared slots. Now we briefly introduce these components one by one. The first one is the match module. The match module is designed to determine whether the current turn contains evidence for the value generation. Specifically, we treat Dallas Day Tracking as a question answering problem, which can be solved by machine reading methods. Therefore, the match module treats the slot S as query and predicts whether a turn of utterances pair contains evidence for the appropriate value. So, <coughs> We first construct question for the specific slot S. For some slots with predefined value candidates, we will list these values into the question. It represents the following natural uh, language question. Uh, for example, the hotel price into hotel, price range, cheap, moderate, expensive, don't care, not mentioned, inspired from other work. This one actually can represent the following natural question. Is the price range of the hotel mentioned? 
If so, which of the following options is correct? A. Cheap B. Moderate C. Expensive D. Don't care And then, given this question and uh, the utterances of this term, we put it into encoder to get the representation of the question and the context. And then we use attentive classification to get the confidence result. For the share module, uh, it detects the shared slots for slot S based on the turn utterances. The candidates S function provides candidates sharing slots for a specific slot S. So then for each candidate slots S prime, we generate its question representation QS prime and attend to the utterance representations to get a prediction of sharing. This part is a bit similar. Finally, the generation module is designed to predict the value for slot S given the found turn utterances and the generated shared values. We apply the soft-gated copy mechanism to get the final output. To sum up, our method actually contains two stages. The first stage finds the turns and the shared values. The second stage generates the final value. Under this idea, we tested two kinds of implementations. One is to directly link the BERT-based modules for evidence finding and the GRU cell-based value generation module. The whole algorithm is trained end-to-end. -end. The other one is to separate the training of evidence finding and the value generation module. For evidence finding, we still use the BERT-based modules, but for training the value generation, we use ground truth evidences and concatenate with the slots for shared values to generate the final value using the GPT-2 model. Here, we compare our method with a wide range of state-of-art methods. Reinf EE denotes the end-to-end -end implementation. Reinf SC denotes the separate component Im implementation. We observe that Reinf SC improves over the state-of-art model SOM in turn-by-turn -turn style. It also improves over the state-of-art model simple, to simple TLD in history-based style. It validates our call for accurate evidence finding. Reinf EE cannot beat Reinf SC. There might be two reasons. Firstly, Reinf SC implementation takes advantage of the pre-trained GPT-2 model in the gene module. Secondly, the encoder of Reinf EE is based on pre-trained BERT model, while the decoder is based on GRU. We suspect that such discrepancy would affect performance. In ablation study, we observe a performance improvement for uh, setting selective turns. And also re with recursive share, we observe a further improvement. So more analysis are provided in the paper. And then in order to show whether the proposed model generally finds the correct turns, we count the statistics of the value generated in the position of found turns. We then compare the statistics with the ones harvested from ground truth results. As shown in the pie charts of all slots, for prediction of our model, the distribution of value lo location are generally similar to that of the ground truth. We further investigate the similarity between frequency our predictions on value sharing slots and the ground truth statistics. In our model's prediction, around 8.6% of the time, a slot shares value with another slot in the same term, which is comparable to 9.4% of the ground truth frequency. We therefore expect that our model has generally learned to detect the value sharing situation well. Here. So, all right. Thanks for listening. Happy to answer your questions.